How many days will you survive living exactly the way you are living today if your salary or your main business stopped? Welcome to a word from the coach. In this week's edition, I would want us to focus on the subject of wealth and wealth creation. A lot of things have been said about wealth and wealth creation. You've heard them. People have said different things. You have probably also said your own things about wealth and wealth creation. Maybe you aspire to be wealthy. Maybe you're already creating wealth. Maybe you're already wealthy. I don't know how you have defined wealth in your own terms, but it's something we have all heard about. And different people have said different things to describe what wealth is. Different scholars, different coaches, different trainers, different money teachers have used different words to describe what wealth means. In a way, all of them are saying the same thing, just using different words. For example, there are those who say that your wealth is the aggregate value of your assets. In other words, everything that you own, put all of them together, find their values, add them together, that becomes your wealth. Other people have looked at wealth from a net worth perspective. The total assets that you have minus the total liabilities that you have. There are other people who have looked at wealth as your ability to finance your desired lifestyle. And I love this perspective. Your ability to finance your desired lifestyle without having to work for money. You see, when we work for money, we get what we call active income. It's the income we get in exchange for our sweat, for our time, for our skills, for our expertise. Active income. When we are actively engaged into something and we get money, we are working for the money. And so this school of thought says that your wealth is your ability to finance your desired lifestyle. So you have a desired lifestyle, your desired lifestyle. So you are able to finance this desired lifestyle without having to depend on the active income. In other words, you have done a few other things. You've put your money somewhere where it is bringing some money without you having to go to work for that money. And therefore, if you are able to finance this desired lifestyle using these other sources, then that becomes your wealth. Interesting perspective. Then there are other people who will also say the same thing by simply saying that your wealth is your ability to run your life using passive income. And I've described what passive income is. Now, these people seem to be using different words, but all of us are just saying the same thing. We are all saying, for example, that wealth is a product of a process. Wealth does not happen overnight. Wealth is a result of a process, a meticulous process, a step-by-step -step process. When we talk about wealth, we are talking about some plentiful supply of something. Very many of us aspire to have money in plenty, to have financial resources in plenty. And by the way, the wealth we are talking about here is financial wealth. I know we can talk about wealth in different ways. That's why you hear people talk about um, wealth of experience uh, and, and, and things like those. So we are talking about financial wealth. Okay, so when you talk about financial wealth, you cannot avoid talking about a process. You cannot avoid talking about a plentiful supply. So the word plenty will feature somewhere. You're talking about an accumulation and all of us want plenty. I like saying in my trainings that given choice between money and more money, most if not all of us will queue where it is marked more money. And then there is nothing wrong about that. What many of us have not done is to ask ourselves, how does this plenty happen? How is wealth created? But today we're just talking about the definition of wealth. Now, one thing caught my attention when I was studying about wealth some years back, and um, 
that is when I stumbled on um, Robert Kiyosaki's interesting perspective. After agreeing, you know, with everyone else that uh, wealth has something to do with, you know, plentiful accumulation of financial resources, Robert went ahead and um, defined wealth using days. And he said that your wealth is also the number of days you can survive living at your current rate if your active sources of income were to stop. In other words, if your family spends about a thousand shillings per day or a thousand dollars kwacha, whatever it is, or 500 or 100, you know what or how much your family spends. So let's say your family spends a thousand shillings per day. The argument here is, if your salary were to stop, if you are employed and you rely heavily or solely on salary, how many days can you go still spending at a thousand shillings per day? Now, those number of days can also connote your wealth. If you are a business person and your family or your expenditure needs are about a thousand shillings per day, if your business, the one you rely on, were to stop today, how many days will you run still spending at a thousand shillings per day? I have taken it as a personal challenge, periodically to keep asking myself, if my active sources were to stop today, how many days can I go? And I would want you to try this. Try answering this question and, and be sincere because this is your own story. Today, if your answer is zero, then you need to aspire to get to a point where next time you ask this question to yourself, then you have some positive answer, probably one, two, three, ten, and so on. Then the other time you will also ask, you would want to see this number growing. And this conversation begins from a point where you begin to set something apart, you know, to put something aside so that when you are dividing to see how many days you can go, you have something that will form part of your numerator so that you can divide it with your expenditure rate to see how many days you will be running. Again, I ask you, if your salary or your main business were to stop today, how many days can you survive living at the current rate that you're living? Think about it. In our next week's episode, I will be digging deeper into the process of wealth creation. So you want to join me uh, in the next episode of A Word from the Coach for us to be able to journey together in the story of how wealth is created so that you get to see how you can plug into that process and begin to create your own wealth. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, please like this video, uh, please also get to share it with others, drop us a comment, drop us a question, and I will be glad, you know, to look at it, respond to it, and if there's any other thing you'd want me to talk about in the world of money, feel free uh, to mention the same, and I'll be glad to make a video, another word from the coach. Until next time, you can do better.